The British Rail Class 230 is a diesel electric multiple unit, DEMU, or battery electric multiple unit, or BEMU, built by rolling stock manufacturer Viva Rail for the British Rail Network. The units are converted London Underground D78 stock, originally manufactured during 1980 by Metro Camel. The conversion reuses the D78's aluminium body shells, with refurbished interiors, the traction motors and bogies, and replaces the four-rail traction current system with battery packs. In November 2014, Viva Rail purchased 150 driving motor cars and 300 carriages of London Underground D78 stock, which has subsequently been replaced by S stock. Two prototype units are being operated by Viva Rail, designated as 230-001 and 002. The diesel electric multiple unit 230-001 variant is a three-car unit. Each of these is outfitted with passenger fittings and fixtures, including seats, tables, a single toilet, onboard Wi-Fi and charging points. 230-001 retains the original brush DC traction motors. However, in the future, units will make use of the TSA AC motor. The 23002 variant, which was completed during 2018, is a battery electric multiple unit designed for operating on partially electrified routes. It features four 106 kilowatt battery rafts which provide for an operational range of 64 kilometres, requiring an 8-minute charge after each journey. The battery-powered train can be charged through an automatic charging point. Alternative means of charging the two-car vehicle include the use of a static battery bank to provide an electric supply of either 11 kV or 33 kV. Reportedly, the train requires a minimum of 750 volts to operate. The first D78 units were delivered to Viva Rail on the 19th of January 2015. Conversion of a single car prototype to facilitate testing and marketing activities commenced shortly thereafter. By summer 2016, this prototype had been completed and was running live tests on Viva Rail's own 2.5 mile test track. During November 2016, mainline testing of these units began, the prototype unit being based at the Tysley Locomotive Works, while it was operating to and from Leamington Spa Railway Station. Unfortunately, in November 2016, one of the units caught fire during testing, leading to the indefinite postponement of further trials. However, in March 2017, it was announced that testing of the battery-powered demonstrator had recommenced at the Quinton Rail Technology Centre. In February 2018, Viva Rail announced that its first two-car battery unit was approaching completion and was projected to run on the mainline network during that summer. The Class 230 is designed to operate in city, country or commuter layout configured with either two or three cars per unit. For the city layout, the two-car vehicle is to be configured to accommodate 86 seats per unit and, including standing room, provides for a total passenger capacity of 188. The three-car vehicle, when fitted with 140 longitudinal seats, shall have a total passenger capacity of 294, including those standing. For the country layout, each train is to be a three-car formation which would accommodate 163 seats, giving a total capacity of 291. In its commuter variant, the train can have either two or three cars per unit. The two-car vehicle accommodates 114 mixed-type seats for a total carrying capacity of 188 passengers. The three-car vehicle, furnished with 172 longitudinal seats, accommodates up to 297 passengers, while the three-car vehicle with 154 transverse seats will carry 147 standing passengers, 
in addition to those seated. The Class 230 will have a maximum speed of 60 miles per hour, or if you prefer, 97 kilometers an hour. The first Class 230 service to carry passengers operated on the 21st and 22nd of June 2017, when the prototype 230001 was used to operate a shuttle service from Honeybourne to the Rail Live Exhibition at the Quinton Rail Technology Centre. In December 2018, West Midlands trains will operate three Class 230 units on the Marston Vale line. The Wales and Borders franchise will operate five units on the Borderlands line, Conwy Valley line and Chester to Crewe line from mid-2019. We were lucky enough to be volunteer passengers on the 230 while it was being tested on the steep hill at the Bowness and Kinnell Railway in Scotland. It was a very smooth and comfortable journey and the train was very bright and modern looking despite the fact it is almost 40 years old. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and enjoy our other videos.